I grew up on the south side of the city. I was raised with uh, a black mom and a white dad, and uh, I grew up mostly with my mom, and so we lived in mostly uh, all black neighborhoods. I went to all black schools. You have African Americans that um, are currently oppressed by this system that wasn't designed for their prosperity in the first place. How are we going to um, address this issue of racial prejudice and racial injustice? And how will we create a system that allows for all people to prosper um, spiritually and materially? Hamro Chetrama. त्यो अपर जातका मान्छेहरुले जहिले पनि कुनै सरकारी कर कार्यालयमा कुनै विद्यालयमा कुनै पार्टी पौवामा आफ्नो सबै कार्यहरु चलाउन र त्यसले गर्दाखेरि जुन धनी छ त्यो धनी हुँदै जाने र गरिब छ बिचारा झन गरिब 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 हुँदै जाने जुन जात जात बीच को जुन दूरी छ यो कहिले समान हुन्छ नि फ्यामिली एन पार्टिकुलर इज कोमो देस्ता फ्यामिलीज ट्रेडिसनलस चिलेना ला रिलिजन नि ला विदा कम्युनिटारिया सेम्प्रे फोय अल्गो के एस्तुवो कोमो मुइ प्रेजेन्टे यो क्रेया के नो टेनिया एस्पासियो पारा क्वेस्टिनारमे एन्टोन्सेस एस्ते टिपो दे ट्रेडिसनस के veníamos como repitiendo. De verdad anhelaba poder encontrar a alguien que me dijera está bien que pienses de otra forma, de que tu comprensión sobre el mundo es otra. When I think of my childhood or I think of my adolescence, it was a violent society and it was a society that was divided. And the way that was expressed was through, uh, really through a war. Often people that you knew got killed. Because it's everywhere, it, it's very difficult to have a, a vision of life that transcends what's happening. I began to ask questions about the way we lived in this country. You know, why are we a society at war? We don't seem so different. Are we so different? Me to Holubuskan Jamiat. Judean bar kuzal uzning urfodatlar gege, ma bu urfodatlar ne judean yaxtaraman. Lekin bunga karamastan bizda shunaqa munosabat bor ki qizlar ge bolgan munosabat, irkaklar ge nisbatan bol bolgan munosabatdan kure pasro qsablanade. Bu munosabat Kızlarını kilajaktaki maksatları, talim alışları, rivajlanışları için tuzak bulup kaldı. Ama için kızlar geçinde şartını birer mümkün imaz. Ahır biz kızlar ham, kudda tamam daniyaratılgan imaz mı? When my parents got divorced, I was about eight or nine years old. At that age, you don't really understand the long-term kind of implications. This union that's been the source of life, really, that breaks. It really makes me wonder, like, how, how those emotions of fear, of anger, and resentment and helplessness, how they give way to joy, to hope, to the ability 
the ability to rebuild unity in one's family. كنت تايه كنت ضايع انسان بلا اي حلم انسان بلا اي هويه من اصعب الاشياء على الانسان انه يترك بلد يترك بيته يترك عائلته فكرت اني اخرج من العراق نتيجه من اسباب كثيره روحيه وماديه كان عندنا فقط مفهوم المناقشة أنه أنا أثبت رأيي أفضل من رأيك وديني أفضل من دينك وعرقي أفضل من عرقك هل الإنسان خلق حتى ينمي في روحه أو حتى يقوم بهدم وحتى يقوم بصراعات ليس لها حل وليس لها هدف مشترك؟ Thanks to our girls, we are usually up at this time of the day. The girls are knocking on our door and demand to get in. <laughs> so you have no choice but to get up. <laughs> yeah. But have you said your prayers already? You can see some light, you know, ushering in the dawn of a new day. I grew up in a very a religious home with the notion that the religion that I was following was the right one. But, uh, you know, as I grew older, I began to get concerned. Does God not approve of other religions? If someone, for example, was born in another part of the world and they found themselves belonging to another religion where they condemned, I just couldn't believe that God was like that. There had to be an explanation for the existence of different religions. As physicians, we use the clinical method to clearly define what ailment the patient has and prescribe the specific remedy for that illness. Ahaula likens God to a divine physician, and that he has his finger on the pulse of humankind. And so from age to age, God has sent us these manifestations who come with this revelation that is able to solve the problems for that age. So I love coming here at dawn. This is a peaceful, beautiful place. This is the shrine of the Bab who was born 200 years ago. Now, th th this place is full of joy and light, but at the time he was born, the world was really filled with the darkness of oppression for many people. Shiraz, Persia. The young Bob is an extraordinary boy. His astonished teacher sends him home, saying there is nothing he can teach this gifted pupil. While other children play, the Bob prefers to pray and meditate alone. As he grows up to become a young merchant, he is admired for his piety, his gentleness, and his sense of justice. The lives of people throughout Persia will in time come to be transformed by his presence amongst them. In the mid 19th century, there was a worldwide sense of messianic expectation. And in Iran, there was a young man named Mullah Hussein who not only felt this expectation, but was convinced that the promised one that he was searching for was already in the world and that it was his mission to search for him and find him. A spring evening in 1844, Mullah Hussein, a young scholar and seeker after truth, is searching for the Promised One. 
After many weeks of prayer and fasting, Mullah Hussein feels drawn, as if by a magnet, to the city of Shiraz. Renowned for the sweet perfume of its roses and the melodies of its nightingales. At dusk, as he arrives wearily at the city gate, a radiant young man approaches Mullah Hussein and greets him as if he were a lifelong friend. Overwhelmed by this welcome, Mullah Hussein accepts an invitation to visit the stranger's home. During that momentous evening, a conversation takes place that will change Mullah Hussein's life and the entire course of human history. As their conversation continues into the early hours of morning, Mullah Hussein is astonished to discover that every answer he receives to his questions establishes beyond a shadow of a doubt his host's claim that he is the Bab, the promised one, Unknown to a sleeping world, the promised day of God has dawned. I find it so interesting that immediately following the declaration of the Bab in Shiraz, Persia at the time, halfway across the world, Samuel Moss was sending his very first Moscow from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore. May, 1844. For the first time in human history, a message is sent instantly from one city to another. The message, what hath God wrought? And in a way, it's as if humankind had been given two means of communication at the same time. The declaration of the Bab opened a way for humanity to be unified in a spiritual sense. But the advancement in telecommunications since that very first Moscow has led to unprecedented development in science and technology that have unified mankind. The first time I heard this in the school was in this place, in Vienna. In the beginning, لم أكن مهتم أيضا على ذلك أنا كان عندي رد فعل إنه استهزأت إنه لا مستحيل يكون هذا الشيء موجود مستحيل إنه في دين جديد فقررت إني أخوض رحلة البحث بنفسي وما أسمع من الناس أسمع لقلبي بس الخوف كان يتنابني في كل خطوة فصرت أسأل نفسي هل محظوظين؟ هل أنا محظوظ أن الله سبحانه وتعالى لم يتخلى عن البشرية وقام بأرسال رسول القادم في وقتي؟ In the days and weeks after the Bab declared his mission to Mullah Hussein, uh, several other individuals came to recognize the Bab independently, and the Bab sent them to different provinces to spread his teachings. Thousands responded, but this alarmed the authorities. Some refused to acknowledge any validity to what the Bab's teachings spoke of. But there were also some that were very attracted to these teachings. Shabab Tadakhron, Ali Lahadna Ala Kosat Wahid, Lama Shah, Sina Abil Harak al Babi, or Sina Anno. في شخص جالس إنه يقدم تعاليم في مدينة في شيراز فقرر إنه يرسل شخص اللي هو فحيد اللي كان أعلم علماء إيران في ذاك الوقت بالفقه والعلم والدين وكان شخص موقر ومحترم من بلاد الشاه ومن من الجالية الإيرانية أجمع. Tasked by the Shah with investigating the Bab's claims. The proud and accomplished Vahid finds himself utterly powerless in the face of the Bab's wisdom. After their third interview together, Vahid decides to turn his back on his worldly status and dedicate his entire life to the service of the Bab. Along with so many thousands of others, Vahid's acceptance of the Bab and his devotion to him will lead him to offer up his very life 
for the cause he has embraced. En el tiempo del Bab estaba todo este clero que trataba de dominar al pueblo a través de tradiciones y dogmas que se repetían y se repetían sin entender por qué. Todo evoluciona y esa evolución también es para la religión. Reconocer entonces estas manifestaciones más recientes es algo que libera el alma y que lo acerca más al Creador. Man Hazrat Bob ta'limoti haqida o'rganib boshlaganimda to'g'ri hikoyasi haqida ham o'qidim va bu menga juda ham ta'sir qildi. To'g'ri yashab o'tgan davrda qizlar ta'lim olishmas, o'qish yozishni bilishmas edi. To'g'ri Hazrat Bob ta'limotini qabul qilingan birinchi ayollardan bo'lib, u bu ta'limotni Eski urf odatlardan farq qilinishi, yangi davrni boshlanishini tushunib yetardi. Va shu sababli bir kuni u erkaklar yig'ilib o'tirgan majlisga yuzlari ochiq, paranjisiz, ro'molsiz holatda kirib keladi. Uning bu kirib kelishi erkaklar uchun bir dahshatli holat edi. Tohira o'zining bu harakati bilan eski urf odatlar, bid'at, xurofotlardan voz kechib Yangi hayotga qadam qo'yish vaqti kelganligini ko'rsata bera oldi. Luka, Luka, Luka. Luka, Luka at dawning day draws its first breath. The world grows light. Hazrat Bobning davomchilari minglab, ya'ni ularning aksariyati hibsga olinib qatl etilgan. Shu jumladan Tohira ham hibsga olinib, vahshiylarcha qatl etilgan. Va u o'limidan oldin shu so'zlarni aytib o'tgan. Siz meni o'ldirishlaring mumkin. Lekin ayollarga bo'lgan erkinlik va ularning taraqqiyotini hech qachon to'xtata olmaysizlar. The popularity of the Bob grew to such an extent that the authorities finally saw that there was no other way to stop the spread of his faith but to execute him. So in 1850, the order for his execution was issued. When the Bab addresses the crowd, Um, in the square in Tabriz, to this army who has been tasked with this terrible kind of mission to put to death one of God's messengers. And I think it's very poignant because here the Bab is with this um, uh, young devotee beside him, Anis, who w wanted to give his all. The Bab then, he, he actually uses Anis as an example to the crowd. Had you believed in me, O oh, wayward generation, every one of you would have followed the example of this youth, who stood in rank above most of you. The day will come when you will have recognized me. That day I shall have ceased to be with you.
One of the things that the heart is drawn to in relation to the martyrdom of the Bab, I think, is this idea of sacrifice. His only motivation was to carry the message of God to humanity. ถ้าจะอยู่บิรุษวันนี้ปัจจัยอุตส่าห์สานุบิวบัตรสุรุบากุติอ่ะเราจะเลิกกันได้ที่วันนี้อุตส่าห์หน้าอย่างตุสับป
तर हम के सोचने यदि हमीर यदि ती अफेला सहेन हमी अगड़ी जान सकते My family is related to the Bob. The Bob's uncle was my great, great, great grandfather. But millions of people in the world have a spiritual connection to the Bob. In fact, everyone, all of humanity, has a spiritual connection to the Bob and Baha'u'llah. They came for all people to come together as one family. problems that we are facing collectively as humanity is like a sickness and the revelation of Baha'u'llah is that remedy. It is going to impart life and so we have to take it upon ourselves and put it into action. <laughs> A mature tree is one that produces fruits for others to benefit. One of the signs of maturity is service to others. So in the same way, humanity also has become of age and is, has reached its level of maturity right now. So it is in that context that also what we do here is try to be of service to mankind. And this group that I, I work with is uh, learning how they can how they can advance knowledge in terms of food production so that this community around us can benefit from that knowledge. I wish to welcome you to the official opening of the Ngungu Center for Community Agriculture, which over the past 10 years has been learning how to deliver a community-based education program. Okay, so from the weeds that we've, we've picked, what are the names of these species? You can even uh, tell us the, the farmers donate their local seeds and we plant them here and we start with the local community so that there's no over dependence on, uh, on certified seeds. So these people are seeing here, the promoters in agriculture. So for us, we believe in theory and practice. This is the day of God that I used to read about. It is going to take effort of us, just as ordinary human beings as we are. God has given us this bounty to transform the world into the paradise that we all hoped for. For mucho tiempo, incluso a nosotros nos daba miedo venir aquí. Eh, porque no conocíamos a los vecinos, no había nadie que estuviera como participando en las actividades. Y una vez que empezamos a encontrar a algunos jóvenes y ellos empezaron a tener sus propias actividades básicas, el mismo entorno empezó a participar y dejar entrar entonces a desconocidos a su barrio. De a poco se, uno se da cuenta ese sentimiento de seguridad que uno tiene y la fácil como interacción que puede lograr con cualquier vecino del barrio, cosa que hace cinco años atrás no, no podíamos tener. Los mismos vecinos se levantan a servir, traen a sus hijos a las actividades, están preocupados por los hijos de toda la comunidad, no solo de su propia familia. Hacer estas actividades en la comunidad es increíble porque uno puede darse cuenta cómo los niños van cambiando. Y cuando pasan los niños, eso se va hacia todo, los, hacia todo el barrio y se expande. 
Y eso es lo que queremos hacer, ¿no? Llevar todo el mensaje de Baja Aula, de la unidad, a todo el mundo. De la transformación individual, espiritual, y llevar el servicio a nuestras vidas. Yo creo que no vería mi vida sin, sin el servicio. Creo que estaría como incompleta. Desde que el templo fue abierto, la población empezó a acercarse a él de una forma tan eh, dramática, por decirlo de alguna forma. Las oportunidades entonces que tenemos para acercar a un alma hacia la revelación de Bajaola es, son infinitas. Independiente de los esfuerzos que nosotros hacemos por acercar a la revelación de Bajaola a la población, Bajaola ya está haciendo su relación con cada una de las almas de, de Santiago y eso es algo que nosotros no podemos frenar. concept of worship is something that is uh, united in the writings of Baha'u'llah and the Bab with uh, service. The Bab says the days when idol worship were deemed sufficient have ended and that the time has come when not but the purest motive supported by deeds of stainless purity would be acceptable unto him. The vision of this house of worship is one in which people come in to say prayers from every background, from every walk of life, but also they flow out of this temple to go and to do deeds that are of service to humankind. Several months ago, I actually didn't really know what the Baha'i faith was. So I went to the temple for the first time and was so moved by being there that I wanted to learn more. So I met as many people as I could. I went to devotionals, and that's how I met this community. And they told me about the work they were doing in the neighborhood, and it just, to me, was the most obvious way to work towards unity and peace, um, starting at the community level and really working towards making the world a better place. So I felt like I had to get involved in that. I was uh, on a search trying to understand religion, and I went up to the house of worship and sat in and listened to the program that was presented. Basically, I, I, it speaks to me about this vision of who we are as individuals and as a collective. We're one human family, not separate races. It has to be a spiritual solution to this, this issue. And many people, when they come to this temple and they, they feel the spirit when they walk in through the doors, they want to know how can they you know, replicate that in their own neighborhood, in their own community. You know, Baha'is and their friends have been trying to learn about this for some time, where they bring together anyone in their neighborhood, anyone on their block, um, into their homes to say prayers, to converse about the needs of their community, and then to, to go and try to build capacity so that they can be of service to those needs in the community. So this message that Baha'u'llah brings is the educational tool to bring us out of this darkness. Today, 
Shukabe, Jamiata Ham, Pisole, Tarbia, Vosdana Shuchun, Shunde Harakat Kanushkira. Yaqi bolalar axloq darslarda qatnashadi. Bu barnoma juda ham katta yordam beradi. Qizlarni hayotda ularga qanchalik ta'lim olishni zarurligini ular tushunib yetishadi. Va shu orqali biz Mana suvalakni shunday shirin narsani boshqalar bilan bo'lishganimizdek, biz ham shu ta'limni, barnomani boshqalar bilan bo'lishib, rivojlanishga harakat qilamiz. Hozirgi kunda qarib 200 kishi bizni birgalikda shu qishloqimizni rivojlantirishga hissa qo'shamiz. Bu ta'limot qishloqning rivojlanishida birdamlikda biz xohlaydigan maqsadga yetish uchun juda ham katta yordam beradi. Bu jamiyatning har bir qismida, har bir rivojlanishida ham ayol va ham erkaklar teng hisoblanamiz. Bu biz erishayotgan natijalarning barchasi Hammamizga tegishli. Nafaqat faqat bizning qishlog'imizga, balki butun bir dunyodagi hamma xalqlarga tegishli deb o'ylayman. The teachings of Bahá'u'lláh and the Báb have a very special resonance in the context of Northern Ireland. It's a society that has been divided along religious lines from its beginning. We drove through two communities that very strongly mark their territory by the symbols in the neighborhood and saying, you know, this is us. You must identify with this particular allegiance. In the context of Belfast, you know, the hub is very significant because like, it stands for something that tries to connect people to something that is for everyone. So do you remember we were talking about thankfulness and being thankful and what we're thankful for? Oh yeah, you do. You remember. Do you not remember we made our It's job? a very diverse neighbourhood and many of the people who live here are young people. And they've seen glimpses of what it can be to, for people to work together. We've been trying to um, make it beautiful so it will also be a place that people can come and feel the spirit of what the physical building represents, which is that so powerful is the light of unity, it can illuminate the whole earth. In our process of inviting the friends in that local area to come to the hub, what's behind it is the oneness of humanity. That's the motivating principle. What we are trying to do is work with young people who can get a vision for a future for Northern Ireland that can be unified. Everybody swing your partner. Everybody the fundamental teaching of Baha'u'llah is the oneness of humanity. Your primary allegiance is the humanity, you know, and that it, it must supersede, you know, your allegiance to your nation or to your tribe. A big finish! विगत तीन वर्ष देखि हामीले सेवा गर्दै आएका छौ गाउँका सबै बुद्धिजीवी समाजसेवी र व्यापारीहरू र त्यहाँको स्थानीय समुदायिक बैंक र बहाई बालकक्षाका अभिभावक र उहाँका प्यारेन्ट्सहरू आउनु भएको छ उहाँहरूले यो हामीलाई मदत गरिराख्नु भएको छ बाके चुन्थ त मे हि गो हे 2054 साल से भलमंसा हूँ आज तक ले जाके मारे जे जब जे बाहरी कार्यक्रम आओ है तो मैं भलमंसा को बुलाई 
तो जाम में हमारे जो बाहरी धर्म जो लगो है यहाँ हमारे कंज गाँव में तो हमारे गाँव में मोर भलमसों के बहुत सुविधा मिलो है सुरक्षा में सुरक्षा ऐसे है सलाह सुझाव हम शिक्षा द्वारा हम जो गांव को विकास करने के और अपनों प्रगति बढ़ाए करके बाल कक्षा में आए अभी आध्यात्मिक शिक्षा सीक्न भी जरूरी है कसरी ईमानदार बनने कसरी सत्यता को बाटो में हिड़ने अ कसरी सहनशील बनने अब जैसे माला जाति रैसे माला समुदाय अलग अलग नहीं है कि हम एक हैं करके विश्व के मानव जैसे माला एक हैं कर माला जो है अनुभव हो रही है जैसे माला जो एक बहुत बड़ो विकास बाहर लाले जिन शिक्षा रू दिन भाग कुछ आजम सिद्धांत हर दिन दिन भाग कुछ आजम ज्ञान हर दिन भाग कुछ आजम जस्ट लेकर रखे रे उन्हें हर कुछ जिन बोली हर माँ उन्हें हर को व्यवहार माँ उन्हें हर को कार्य माँ उन्हें हर को दैनिक जीवन माँ देर नहीं हम लोग तीसरी रूपांतरण भाई को हम ही पाई रहेगा सों So we're going to color it straight. We can all paint one and then look at them and be like, okay, that's it. This is what we're working towards. Just so we have something that we've actually done, and then it's easy to learn or think about how. We, we are here together, working on Angatu for our family. In Tonga, the practice of creating Atu is very much a collective practice. When we look at a beautiful ngatu, what we're seeing is incredible patience um, and love and a group of people that were able to work for something so much greater than just themselves. We're trying to, to create something that we do together. It's a unified family, you know? Yesterday I was waking along, but I was having tears. Because I, I, I know it is something that will prove the unity of a family. We really wanted to do it during the special year of the bicentenary of the birth of the Bab. So there's a beautiful quote from the Bab that says that whoever possesseth power over anything must elevate it to its uttermost perfection so that it not be deprived of its own paradise. If we have control over the culture of our family, how do we elevate that also to perfection? If we have a vision of um, our communities that can be more beautiful and more unified, so we have a responsibility to try and work towards that. It's a beautiful way to gain um, perspective or a sense of purpose that's aligned with the teachings of the Bab and Baha'u'llah. هناك فريق مقرب من الأصدقاء تبيننا كنا من خلفيات مختلفة فترقى الجالية الفارسية الجالية النمساوية الجالية العربية أنه إحنا قاعد ناخذ 
الهمه والمسؤوليه انه نحن نبني مجتمعاتنا لقاء حمودي هم الاثنين اكراد واحنا واحنا باقين عرب يمكن هاي القعده ما تنقعد بغير اماكن صح <تصفيق> أعتقد من أكثر الأشياء اللي حتى تحول بحياتي هو طريق الخدمة. شبراخ كافية جاءت هذه الفكرة من خلال برنامج شباب الناشئ. باعتبار أن الشباب الناشئ من عمر 11 إلى عمر 15 هم ناس من دمجين في المدارس وتعلموا اللغة بشكل قياسي وشكل قصير ومن خلالها يقدرون يتعلمون أنهم يخدمون الناس اللي كبار في السن الناس اللي صعب عليهم يتعلمون اللغة هذه الأعمار تملك من المواهب الأشياء الكثيرة وفي نفس الوقت لديهم حس عالي وشغف عالي في بناء جامعات حقيقية نابضة بالحياة هنا نرى الانجذاب الحقيقي نحو الجمال لما كثير من الناس من مختلف الأديان مختلف الثقافات يأتون كجامعة واحدة متعاضدة أن نرى تعاليم حركة سكان كاملة نحن رؤية حظ بها الله الشيء الحقيقي ولا بد منه هو المحبة المحبة اللي تشارك بها كل أفراد المجتمع المحبة اللي هي سبب الخلق The resplendent light of God hath appeared in your midst, invested with this unerring book, that ye may be guided aright to the ways of peace, and by the leave of God step out of the darkness into the light, and onto this far-extended path of truth. <laughs> <laughs>